my guys, my ladies, my gentlemen out there in the stream, did you guys hear about this? Look at that, Juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett should return to, day to jail after his appeal was denied. Jesse Smollett is finally going to face his day in prison or in jail, whatever, sooner rather than later because his appeal has been denied again. And I didn't know this was even a case. I had no idea that this was even the situation. I just assumed, you know, his, his sentencing was coming up soon. But I guess he's already been sentenced. He's just been appealing. And essentially, this is proof as well that he has some really deep pockets. He has family with connections and shit because he was actually doing the best to keep this put off more and more and more and more and more by lodging appeal after the appeal after the appeal but it seems like they finally put their foot down and said look enough's enough you have to fucking go to jail like come on so this is the this is the article courtesy of NBC. i guess that's his mum there as well i remember at the time when i watched the trial one of the things that really upset me and i thought that okay just as much belongs in jail was that I think his mum is really ill. She's got something. I don't know what it's just, what's wrong with her, but she had to have two people basically holding her up to walk. And I remember thinking to myself, like, I understand why he lied. As mad as it is, I understand why he lied. Because if you think about it from a Hollywood perspective, you think about it how, how desperate they are to be successful. You think about representation and where that was and him being a black gay guy, all this, whatever. I understand how desperate somebody can get to make up that sort of lie. I get it. In the heat of the moment, cool. But in my opinion, I thought once he was uncovered to be a liar, hold your hands up and say, okay, I lied, I'm sorry, and then just ask for forgiveness. And most likely, you could have saved your situation and not made it to go jail thing. But I think the fact that he was doubling down on his lie and the fact that he tried to embarrass, I think, the Chicago Police Department also because they had to waste resources in investigating this. It was, you know, they were obviously, if they didn't investigate properly, people would have looked at Chicago and seen them and thought, oh, maybe they're not helping him because he's a black guy, because he's gay, blah, blah, blah. So the police were very much incentivized to uncover what actually happened so that they could basically you know, protect their reputation. And when they found out that he lied, all bets were off. And when he refused to fucking apologize, all bets were off. But the thing that really hurt me when I watched the trial was when I saw he obviously lied and did that whole speech in the in the courtroom. Do you guys remember the speech? This speech. Do you guys remember this one? You usually got this one. When you usually got sentence. No, I would just like to say to your honor that Okay? I am not suicidal. Okay? I am not suicidal. I am innocent and I am not suicidal. <sighs> if I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. And I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. <laughs> Jail time. I am not suicidal. Okay. Mr. Uche, let me inquire. Are there any <laughs> sentencing motions you can... Okay. <laughs> anyway, I remember when he did that, right? It's like we were kings. Um, obviously, he got sentenced and he got found guilty and shit. And I remember seeing a picture of his mum walking out of the courtroom, being held up by two of his other family members. And she was literally struggling to walk and she couldn't walk. I think to myself, you're a piece of shit because of that. More so because of anything else. Fair enough, you, you lied to forward your career. Fair. But then to put your mum through that, to make her go to court and, you, you know, obviously she's your mum, she's going to fucking believe you. And then to have her go to court in her condition when you know you lied is just beyond, un, it's just unforgivable really in that respect. Do what you want to do with yourself, but then putting your family in the crosshairs of it, making them go to court every day, sit there and go through the fucking evidence, all this sort of shit. When you know deep down that you fucking lied, that's the unforgivable part of it. Because you know that his family, even if they know he lied, deep down they're going to still protect him because he's their family. But he should be honourable enough to say, you know what, I did that because I was desperate and shit. I put my hands up I'm gonna, and I'm just going to, you know accept my fucking punishment and go from there so it's kind of crazy that he fucking did that but let's read the article anyway regardless the article says as follows an appeals court has upheld a disorderly conduct uh, so a disorderly conduct convictions friday of actor juicy smollett whenever i see his name i think of juicy smollett well, who said that was it kevin hart no was it um dave Chappelle or was it um who was it was it chris rock 
No, was accused, I, don't, I forgot who said it, but whoever changed his name, awesome. Um, who was accused of staging a racist homophobic attack against himself in 2019. It was Dave, right? Okay, it was Dave. Um, Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Honestly, man. Smollett, <laughs> Smollett, sorry, who appeared on TV show Empire, challenged the role of a special prosecutor, jury selection and evidence, and many other aspects of the case. But all were turned aside in a two-to-one op- opinion from the Illinois um, Appellate Court. Smollett had reported to police that he was a victim of a racist homophobic attack by two men wearing ski masks. The manhunt for the attack soon turned into an investigation on Smollett himself, leading to an arrest on charges he had orchestrated. The- <laughs> even for a, even for a plot on Empire, it's so horrible, isn't it? Even for a plot on Empire, it doesn't sound probable. That two guys in the dead, and again, that's what people, I remember the first time it got reported, everyone was saying that if you live in Chicago, you'd know how crazy their winters are. So that's the first time, I think, I remember I saw a YouTuber say it, the first point is that, hold on, I lived in Chicago and Chicago is crazy cold in the winter. Why are these two racist guys just going to be hanging around in a district where there's only apartment buildings and it's in a nice part of town waiting for Jesus Smollett to come out of his building? It didn't make any sense. I remember somebody said it. And I was like, wow, that was the first kind of red flag. But that plot isn't even good for Empire. Two random guys on the street attack you while you're going to a subway. You're like, what? Anyway, Smollett had reported to police that he was a victim of a racist homophobic attack by two wearing ski masks. The manhunt for the attacker soon turned into an investigation for Smollett himself, leading to an arrest on charges that he orchestrated the attack himself. Authority said that he paid two men whom he knew from work on Empire. A jury convicted Smollett in 2021 on a five felony counts of disorderly conduct. The, obviously, the funny bit about all of it was definitely when we found out the identity of the actual attackers and they were the blackest guys you could ever see in your life. That was what made it so funny. It was quite, it was actually a Dave Chappelle level skit, right? That the two racist dude was super, super black, like straight from fucking Nigeria, buff black dudes, both brothers were the ones that were allegedly behind the, underneath the fucking ski mask. I fucking loved it, man. What a funny story. He now will serve, or he will now have to finish a 150 day stint in jail that was part of his sentence. You know what's funny? Again, I'm not good with dates and maths. But I swear, if you would just, if you would have accepted the time and just took the took the fucking jail time on the chin, he would have been out by now, wouldn't it? He would have been out by now already. One fifty days is minor. He could have done that in a in a heartbeat. And it's not it's like it's not it's like he's going to fucking prison and shit. He's going to fucking jail. It's a you know obviously there's crazies in there too, but it's probably easier to get through a one hundred fifty day stint in jail than it is in actual prison. Bloody hell, man! You should just you should, you should just took the time when it happened. In a statement, a spokesperson for Smollett said that they plan to fight the decision. Oh my god, he's not giving up on this lie. Twenty twenty four, and he's still going to be lying about this. We wish to highlight the decision was divided. With Justice Lyle offering to detailed analysis in favor of Smollett, we are preparing to escalate this matter to the Supreme Court. So if he goes to the Supreme Court, is there a possibility that he might get more time? Is that possible? Wow. Imagine if that happens. If they see that he maybe is appealing frivolously or there's no substance to his appeal or some shit and he gets more time. <laughs> or, <laughs> that might be crazy. The special prosecutor assigned to a case, Dan Webb, told NBC News in an interview hours after the court decision that Smollett should finish his 100-day sentence. Exactly, Andrew Tate. And MAGA did get to his head. But I don't blame him for MAGA getting to his head. Like, we really do. I think you people in America, obviously, you have more experience of it because you fucking live there. But that Donald Trump presidency, man, I'm not... Like, when people say Trump derangement syndrome, I think it's okay to have that. Because that guy was such a fucking... To go from like, you know, Barack fucking Obama to Trump was so crazy. As just a politician, forget what they do, just as a politician and how they carry themselves. I'm not surprised it broke some people's brains. <laughs> Even to this day, MAGA is still running strong. MAGA is still strong now, and to this day, MAGA is fucking stronger than ever. So, like, honestly, the impact that Trump's presidency had on people and the way it broke people's brains and altered the fabric of American society forever, that is going to be something that is going to be needed documented in a fucking documentary, a book or something. That needs to be something that someone really, really does detail because that guy, he flips shit up. He flips shit on his fucking head. 
to the point where Justin Millet, you know, decided to orchestrate an attack about himself. Because if I'm not mistaken, he did say, um, did he say that one of the guys was wearing a MAGA hat as well? Did he say that? Or did they say MAGA strong or something? I forgot. He said something like, what they said? They said, what they say? He said, he said, oh, the, the guy said, this is MAGA country. Like, what? What kind of lie is that? This is pretty much the end of the road for Smollett, Mr. Webb said. Under Illinois law, he has one right of appeal. That's what he had today. The Illinois Appellate Court denied all his issues. He can try to get up to the higher court, Illinois Supreme Court. That's a discretionary appeal that would be determined if the Illinois Supreme Court wants to hear his issues. But if that doesn't happen, then he's hit in the head end of the road and will shortly be in jail. But yeah, he's got good lawyers, man. He's got deep pockets. So basically, he's going to go to the end. Um, let's actually watch the end of this clip as well. I want to see what happened here. But this is a fucking brilliant. He fucking thought he was fucking Epstein, isn't it? He thought he was that guy, isn't it? He thought he was a fucking undercover Mossad agent. Here to present right now. Yes, Judge. Yes, Ms. Widow. The defense would wish to present a motion to reconsider sentence right. and file it in standard. Right. It, is, it is timely filed. Thank you, Judge. And, and let me say, I've obviously considered the sentence at great length. Uh, and and it, it's timely filed, so it's preserved for purposes of appeal. The motion to reconsider sentence is respectfully denied. And is there another? What, what, one second, Randy. Anything else? Just a second, just a second. Is there going to be a notice of appeal filed? Yes, Judge. Yes. Uh, we, we, we're filing a notice of appeal. We're going to be emailing to the clerk right now, to the office. You, you're doing it in Stanter? And are you? Do you think his lawyers know too? Obviously, they're getting paid by the hour. It doesn't matter. But do you think his lawyers know deep down too? Do you think they know? Like, they're like, when, they, when they're all having drinks and shit, lawyers, his, his defense. Do you think they're thinking, come on, man, this guy. <laughs> do you think they know? They must know, innit? They know. <laughs> they must know. <laughs> Are you going to be handling the appeal? Yes. Well, you have to commit to handling yes, the appeal yes. for the appellate court. Okay. All right. No appeal may be filed. Charlotte. Uh, now, I need the prosecutors to work with Charlotte, the probation officer, to work out probation specifications with the conditions I've just explained. 150 days in the county jail. <laughs> you space miles. The fines. Oh, and also mm -hmm. uh, statutory DNA and costs are ordered as well. That, that's statutory. <laughs> So you have to fill out the probation specifications. <laughs> now, I'm going to get somebody to help you do that. But we need to get that done in the standard. Anything else today? Yes. Your Honor, may, in light of the notice of appeal, we would ask that you would suspend the jail sentence in light of the do what? of the notice of appeal. Did I do what? Suspend the jail sentence in light of the notice of filing of appeal. No, that would be respectfully denied. <laughs> yes, Mark. Respectfully denied. Maybe could be stayed. No. In light. I'm not staying. No, no, no. no. The no, wheels no. of justice turn slowly, and sometimes the hammer of justice has to fall, and it's falling right here, right now. I'm not staying. <laughs> this, this judge is the best. This happens right here, right now. <laughs> nope. Okay. Again, look, here it uh, goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about it. I'll give you the Okay. Okay? All right. Any other matters to come before the court today? I am not suicidal. I Mr. am not suicidal. Blackfist. I am not suicidal. There we go. I am not suicidal. <laughs> and I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. Fuck off, you fucking liar. He's worse than Brendan Shaw, mate. Come on, one more time. One more time. <laughs> I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal, and I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. Honestly, bro. Honestly. Honestly, honestly. Just you smaller. If he just would have did the time when he got fucking sentenced, he would have been out by now. 150 days. I know it's not, you know, a walk in a park. Well, 150 days shouldn't be enough for you to be like spinning like this and pushing stuff back. Like just do the time and keep it moving, brother. Come on, 150 days. 150 days for a lie that you made up about being attacked. Again, I get the lie. I get it in his position. You're desperate. You're young. The roles are drying up. It's COVID. No things are being filmed. Production is halted. All this stuff is happening. I understand. Maybe he heard in the grapevine that fucking Empire was getting cancelled. Whatever. I get it. I get the desperation. When you're desperate, you do crazy shit. 
But when you get when you get found out, you owe it to yourself and your family to say, you know what, hands up. I fucked up. You know, I did wrong. Apologize and then try and make it right. But this doubling down in a lie. It's very Trumpy, isn't it? The doubling down on a lie. I'm not gonna lie, it's very Trumpy. But yeah, big up big up Tristan Smollett. Um, you know, the sooner he gets into jail, sooner the better, really. 